Hi, my name is Kia Vanilla, and this is Hypothetically Speaking, and I have a special guest with me today. I have Dolly Dolls, and she is my um, manager for modeling, and let's find out a little bit about Miss Dolly. What you got going? Well, I'm Dolly, and I manage the Dolly Dolls. Um, it's something that I created for women who are bosses, uh, independent. They have their own businesses, and we get together, and we make uh, a big influence on the entertainment business. And so the girls that I chose to pick, they have businesses, or they have multiple talents, whether it's uh, modeling or musically or just anything, um, uh, videography, makeup they they do pretty much it all and um so it's basically like a vixen thing yeah yeah okay yeah okay so but you just only deal with people who already got motion basically and you just want to try and coordinate their motion with your emotion right okay tell me a little bit about mob times how well, are you connected times, with mob times well i work with rap a lot midwest mm -hmm. and um we travel together all the time, and I've been with them for a few years. And uh, Easy and Damien, they are the CEOs. And um, we decided to, like, they wanted to incorporate everybody. And I was mm -hmm. like, how about I do work with the models? Okay. And so I came up with the Dolly Dolls. Okay, so Rap A Lot Records is a record label and an entertainment company slash entertainment company. Mm -hmm. And... They have a lot going on. I've heard a lot about um, Trust the Process. I'm just now joining the team. Yeah. Uh, look, thankful to you. Yeah. Like, thanks to you that I joined the team. But me and you kind of met through your sister or whatever mm -hmm. one day. It was pretty cool at an event. And I saw what you had going on. Like, I didn't actually hear about it. I actually saw you working. Right. And I saw you bossing. I was like, okay, let me shadow her. Let me see what she got going Aww, on or whatever. Yeah. And you do a great job at what you do. I seen, um, it was an event. Like, you, what was the name of the club that we were at? Ember? I think it was Ember in Ember, Atlanta. Yeah, and you had a lot of um, performances. The lot, your artists perform mm -hmm. there a lot. So yeah. if y'all want to go check out that club, please go yeah. check it out. It's a nice, like, it's really, I've really never nice. been there until she um, invited me. Yeah. It's really nice. It's, it's really a nice, nice. spot. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about women empowerment. Okay. Like, because I feel like um, that's kind of what um, your Dolly Doll brand represents definitely like definitely. woman empowerment everybody has to have emotion you know and making it make sense mm -hmm. like not just out here taking pictures creating content exactly. and just doing stuff just like actually doing it. making yeah. money making money <laughs> <You know? laughs> but uh yeah. Yeah. yeah okay so like i said when we met it was awesome your sister invited me to like this little I invited her had. out, and then she brought you and some other girl. Yeah, she did um, bring her other friend. And it was something about you that I liked. You know how you she just like somebody. Spirits intertwined, yeah. that good vibe, and that I good was energy. Like, who is she? You know. <laughs> and then I thought about talking to you, and I was like, No, I ain't gonna do it. But then it wouldn't go away, so I just I had to talk to you. And I was asking you what you did, and I invited you to be a model. Yes, you, you know, did. One of the models. And that's when I was just starting it. Like, yeah. it was actually just an idea at really? that time. It was an idea. See, and I didn't even know that. See, yeah. I thought, like, you already had. Because the way mm -hmm. it's been coming along, like, it's been really, really, really good. Like, yeah. you've been getting a lot of content. Y'all been doing a mm -hmm. lot of shows. Mm -hmm. I know you manage AP. And I don't know, what's your other um, artist? The other I manage AP. Mm -hmm. It's a female rapper, mm -hmm. but I call her a, um, a R and B rapper. Okay. Cause she she got like smooth songs. She's like a days low. A yeah, kind of like that, but it's kind of <laughs> like the '90s R and B. Okay. Mixed with like rap, like it, it sounds so good. Yes, so, I heard a lot of her stuff, yeah. and it does. It's very catchy. It's very yes. smooth. Her I voice like it. is yeah, beautiful. Her voice, it's her yeah. voice is very catchy. And then I have Boss Man Vito. Now he just turned sixteen. Oh. But he's very, very talented. Okay. Very talented. And do you what's their Instagram? Uh AP is AP dot stay up and Vito is 
It's, I think it's Boss Man Vito. Okay, okay. I have them in my bio. They okay. both in my bio. Okay, we're going to put that in the link in the bio. Yeah. So, y'all make sure y'all check out AP and... And Boss Man Vito. And Boss Man Vito. And my Instagram is Reba, R-E-E-B-A underscore B. Okay, so I just want to get in your business a little bit. Uh-oh. <laughs> Um, so who is Reba? Like, tell me a little bit about yourself growing up. Like, how was okay. your life like from a child to now? Like, give, let me, give me a little insight. Well, um, my father is a musician mm-hmm. slash know. entrepreneur and a whole bunch of other stuff. Like, he okay. works on cars. Uh, he does carpentry. He does, he plays instruments. He records. He raps, sings. He produces. Uh, beats. He knows a lot of the behind the scenes, you know, like the business aspect. Yes, yes. Uh, he has his own computer business that he's had for years. It's called Computer Pro. Okay. It was just out of Georgia. It was Computer Pro. So Georgia. what exactly? What type of program? Uh, it's it's like he fixes your computers. Like oh, so when he, my computer goes ears. down. Okay. He, well, he does more than that. But okay. he, like, uh, if my computer goes down, he lives in Texas right now. Mm-hmm. He fixed my computer, even though I live in St. Louis. Without being here? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, he good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, it's like that, and then, like, he installs cameras and stuff. Okay. But, like, growing up, um, I grew up around an a entertainer. I watched him record people. What city are you from? From St. Louis, but we moved around a lot. Okay. Like, I've been to, I think, 16 different schools. Really? Including one year of getting homeschooled. Oh, really? He homeschooled me. So one how was that? It was nice. I mean, he, uh, he homeschooled us for no, the, a year. Um, the, the different school, the like different going schools. to different schools. Like I know you would think that you wouldn't experience. like it. No, you would think you wouldn't like it, but I actually liked it. I loved it because you met a lot of I met a lot of people, which prepped me for this. Yeah, you know, like I I get introduced to so many people. Um, I got to deal with different types of people mm-hmm. all the time. <laughs> um, Also, when I moved around, I learned different things each time I move. Like, uh, in school, I would do better. And now that I'm grown, I think it's because I got different aspects. Based of life, yeah. No, just different ways of teaching. Oh. And then put it all together into one and then figured it out. So, I don't know. I I like traveling. Yeah, because most people, like, um, when they have to change, like my daughter, for instance, Uh she does not want to leave. She didn't want to leave her middle school. Like, we moved around a little bit, but Mm -hmm. she was like, I want to stay at this school. She probably found my friends. Yeah. Yeah. I have to get her out of that, like. (laughs) I don't know. I look at. Because, like you said, though, like, I traveled a lot, like, Mm -hmm. when I was younger, too, and I found. By me traveling a lot, I learned a lot of stuff that I wouldn't yeah. have learned just staying in my hometown. That's so true. So I encourage people to travel, meet new people, uh-huh. do new things, yeah. and to learn. Just to learn. Every you day. See, and then <laughs> see how different people do things. Yeah. Like, uh, Cali is going to do things different from yeah, Atlanta that. or, you know, just yeah. anywhere. The it's vibe, just different. The whole vibe is different. Yeah, everybody's totally different. Understand. So, yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what I mean. Mm-hmm. So, what um, besides um, doing the music, the entertainment stuff? I know you have a full time life. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you do on your like regular day? Well, I don't tell people, but I'm actually a nurse, See and that. I've been a nurse <laughs> for about almost thirteen years. Wow. It's been I've been doing it for a minute. So and you people, and coordinate that together? How is that? I mean, it's like I like to take care of people. Mm-hmm. But my passion is also the music industry and then like doing the modeling. So so where do you see um, Dolly Dolls within the next couple of like months to a year? Like what, what vision do you have for your um, brand? For the brand? Mm-hmm. I see it huge. Like I see... Um, a lot of people starting like multi million dollar businesses and Speak that. you know stuff like that. <laughs> exactly. Um, and like I said, being their own boss, uh, directing and starting their own thing, because I want to help build up as many people as I can. 
you know, I want to see everybody win. Exactly. I know everybody can't win, you know, yeah. but I want to <laughs> see as many tried, people exactly. win as possible. Exactly. Like, I'm all, I've always been the one to uh, help people um, however I can, whether it's advice, uh, help you save money, uh, build your money, different ways of, to get money, you know, exactly. whatever. That's always been me. And I know that's going to be good for your girls so y'all can communicate. And that's another thing. Like, people don't like to get together yeah. and to put their head together and create something. Right. You know what I right. mean? Everybody wants to be the boss of this. You right. got to be the boss of that. But I love the way how when you created your brand, you would ask me advice that I wouldn't even think, like, you yeah. would ask me. But, like, I felt like, okay, you know, she respects my opinion. I was so. just about to say it because <laughs> yeah. your opinion matters. Yeah. And, like, I want to incorporate the things that y'all want to do, too. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I love that. I love yeah. that about you. Yeah. Like, you try to cater to everybody's needs with your brand. And yeah, that's, thank you. that's a great thing. So, I think you're going to go very far with that. Yeah, you are, too. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and so, tonight, um, we're going to go try to get some little footage with Asian Doll. Yeah. And... I don't know. I don't really know much about Asian Doll. Like, I follow up with her a you little know, bit. I really don't either. <laughs> um, I mean, not like that. Yeah, yeah, I know what you, you mean. You would think that I would know about a lot of these, but I don't really follow, like, on the social media. I should. Yeah, I should. Media. Yeah, you But I don't really, I'm not. Social media savvy like that. Yeah, I don't really be on there all yeah. like that. And you work, so that's another thing. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody don't got time for all that. Yeah. But that's cool, whatever. But I do, I follow up with her a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. Like, I really haven't listened to a lot of female rapper music, but that's mm -hmm. what I'm trying to get more into listening there. I'm too thugged out. I'm listening to uh, <laughs> Tupac. <laughs> <Is Not that? laughs> now, look, I will go back to Tupac now, but I just listen to too much hard music. I'm trying to get into my feminine stage right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, how do you feel about I, that? Like, women in there, it's a lot of masculine women or like nowadays, like, like just, women. just do you. I don't yeah. care. I mean, everybody's different. Yeah. Like whatever, whoever you are, whatever you are, just embrace that. That's my thought. I too. mean, exactly. Yeah. Everybody not girly. Everybody not masculine or you know whatever. But some people mix your both. Exactly. Yeah. So with your um. Artist AP mm -hmm. and what did you set up? Boss Man Vito. Boss Man Vito. Uh huh. So when you started managing them, because I myself, I'm trying to manage. Like, okay. what advice would you have for any up and coming managers, like or agents that have artists that they're trying to promote? Like, what would you advise? Give what type of advice would you give? For Definitely them? read up on uh, the music business and um, like study other people's mistakes. Mm -hmm. Um, if you can ask people who are experienced, ask them questions, pay for, you know, consultations. Okay. Uh, one thing I do want, I tell my artists to also study because I could be telling you something wrong mm -hmm. or, you know, or, you know, you never know if somebody's trying to take advantage. Yeah. I'm not trying to take just advantage. Just trusting people. But I'm just saying, yeah, just yeah, don't be general. so trusting of what other people say. Yeah. Look it up yourself too. Yeah, because I'll tell you, but then I want you to study yourself. Yeah, that's good advice. Yeah, yes. So, um, as you were coming up, is there something that you wish you would have known before you started doing the entertainment? Like, what is one thing that you uh, wish you would have known before you started? Like, if I would have known. known this, then I probably would have been here. I wish there. I would have known that the internet would be like it is right now. Right. Because back then it was like CDs, DVDs, yeah. and, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, you couldn't. You didn't have access to people yeah like it's, now you have very access. accessible yeah. yeah people are very accessible but yeah and like I if i it. if i knew where the internet was going like <laughs> people calling you you don't know who they I don't are know. And, why yeah. are you calling my phone from yeah. facebook like like uh, messenger <laughs> why why or instagram or wherever i don't yeah. know <laughs> no i'll just uh just be more um internet savvy yeah because growing up i didn't care about the internet i still don't yeah and that's probably why i don't know about the people yeah. because i never liked the computer yeah I, and i think it's because my father worked on computers and he would take <laughs> us with him and it would take hours to fix it 
And I'm like, I hate the computer. I don't, I don't have nothing to do with it. Yeah, he probably traumatized. I'm like that. traumatized, but now like it don't take no time to fix it now. But back then, it used yeah. to take a long time. Yeah, well, we know a lot more <sighs> now. Yeah, but I don't like the. But computer. I could get that. I could totally get that. Yeah. So in the next um five years, like, what do you see yourself with your career? With my career, um, I could see uh, one or both artists taking off. Um, I mean, really both. I just, you know, the time frame. Because I'm trying to uh, put more time into AP right now mm -hmm. because she was the first one. Mm -hmm. And then I just um, got veto about maybe two months ago, mm -hmm. you know, something like that. But um, then I'm taking off um, the Dolly Dolls, being huge, <laughs> everybody booking them and they running shows and maybe on TV shows or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. You know, just I just see it being huge. That's good. Yeah. And I see the same thing for you. Like, I know it's going to be huge, whatever you got going on. Oh, and I also see Trust the Process and Rap a Lot Midwest also taking off as well. Yeah, I see that. I could see a lot of stuff going yeah. with them right now. Yeah. It's in the making. Like, I just see yeah. it coming. And with the Manhattan and you know, all, that, all of yeah, that. Yeah, the brand. Yeah, and shout mm -hmm. out to Manhattan Bourbon. Yeah. That's, like, who we're representing right mm -hmm. now. So, and it's pretty good. Like, I taste it. It's definitely good, and it's going to get you there. Yeah. Like, you ain't going to need too much. Everybody say the same thing. They say to it's keep sweet, that in your household. But it's, uh, what you say? It was sweet, but. It's sweet, but it has a kick. Like, it's not it's that smooth. Yeah, it's a smooth kick. Mm -hmm. It's like you can feel it, but it's not burning as it goes down. Yeah. So it's kind of it's smooth, but it gets you know gets it the, job the job done. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely gets the job yeah. done, definitely. Yeah. But um, like with the next um artists, like we have a lot of people who want to be artists mm -hmm. now. Like mm -hmm. everybody trying to be a rapper because right. like literally you could come up off one song. And mm -hmm. that's proven. So people are really trying to get their content out, their mm -hmm. music, and their work out. So what advice do you have for any up-and-coming artists? Um, like, what would you advise them to be consistent with every day? That's the thing, be consistent. Be consistent, yeah, period. You have to be consistent. Um, like, I've seen people have a buzz, right? Mm -hmm. And then they get frustrated with the industry or just the process. Mm -hmm. And then they back away they shy away from the camera and then when they decide to come back nobody's nobody checking for them yeah that's so i say st stay consistent <laughs> stay consistent and don't give up just keep going at it like if you go back to where you that feeling that you had that um that motivated you to be like i got it yeah. i can make it and you know whatever exactly. whatever that is I can relate because to that. It's it's still there. You just gotta keep going. It's so it's not hard to give up. Yeah, it's not because it it can get um, what do you call it? Frustrating. Uh, frustrating and uh, I can't think of the other word I was thinking. <laughs> but yeah, no, I get that, and I totally agree because like even with me, I started this podcast two years ago, mm -hmm. and then I did, like, one episode, and then nothing, mm -hmm. and then when I started back, it reminded me, I had a reminder mm -hmm. of, like, oh, dang, I really like doing this, that's mm -hmm. why I wanted to do it, you know, that's why I want to pursue it, so the only thing for me is, I have to make everything make sense, Yeah, like, I do have time, but I don't want to waste it, you know what right. I'm saying, so, right. A lot of people got time, don't have time, yeah. but I do have time, but I don't want to waste it. So that's my main thing, not wasting my time. I want to yeah. make something out of all my exactly. time. And I'm sure you want to do the same. Exactly. We wasted enough time. Exactly, yeah. for real, because yeah. we pushing it. I ain't going to tell mm -hmm. them how old we are. <laughs> <laughs> but don't look it. I, went to, I was at the airport today, right? Yeah. And I was, uh, I had a connecting flight. Okay. And so I went up to the guy, and I was like, is this the B terminal? And he was like, yeah, is somebody here to pick you up? <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I said, huh? That's good, though. <laughs> and then I thought about it. I'm like, oh, he probably think I'm a kid. Yeah. You know? Some, and then when I was getting my hair done, the lady was like, what's the occasion? I was like, oh, I'm going out of town. She was like, you're not going to prom? <laughs> I'm like, no. Well, that's but, a compliment. Yeah, that's a compliment. So, look, we're not aging too bad. Black yeah. don't hurt you that's right now. That's right. That's right. So... That's great, girl. And I'm so, I just want to give you your flowers. 
before you blow up, because you're going to blow up. Oh, thanks. So, listen, I'm proud of you, and I'm glad. I'm with all the women empowerment stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm here to support you. Hypothetically speaking, we're going to be along with your journey. Right. We're going to keep bringing you in. We're going to keep the people updated on everything, because I'm part of um, Dolly's Dolls. I'm one of her dolls. Yes. So. This is Dolly Doll Kia. <laughs> So y'all just stay tuned. Is there anything? What's your um Facebook page? Uh, my I mean, Facebook. Instagram. Well, the Facebook. Oh, you got Facebook. Yeah, the Facebook is Dolly Ann. Okay, Dolly Ann. And then Instagram is Reba underscore B. Reba. But you could still find B. me on Instagram if you Google Dolly Ann too. Okay, and just type yeah. in Dolly Ann, and I'm sure you'll see the Dolly Dolls page, and mm -hmm. she has like two in the trust the process. Yeah. Manhattan Bourbon. Yeah. Y'all make sure y'all go follow all that. I'm telling you. And don't TikTok wait is also the end. TikTok is also Reba underscore B. And on TikTok, so. Reba underscore B is the same as Instagram. Mm -hmm. So we're about to go out, y'all. Where where we going? What's the club called? It's called um Look. <laughs> don't give me the line because I'm not from Look, it. I remember five hours ago. Right. Um Wherever Asian doll is over here, in Richmond, Virginia. Richmond, <laughs> and we got we got some fine over there. She don't want to come over here. And she looks come so over cute. Here. Come over here. If What's she wasn't a singer, she would be a dolly doll too. Cause she she is eat. so hey, cute. I love some pretty stuff. Yes, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got Shot Town in the building. Yes, I'm from Chicago. Shot Town in the building. My name is Cat, or they call me Ellie Cat now, y'all. So. <laughs> Either one will do. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to the club with you guys. I'm yeah. not sure which one, but like she said, we're about to be lit. It don't matter. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little chilly out here. I came from Chicago. It they is. Came from come out here. Yeah. I was like, when I came from St. Louis, I'm like, oh, it's going to be warm in there. Take a shot of this Manhattan. Yeah, because <laughs> she, look, my, my girl don't drink. She don't drink. I don't. Drink. I don't. <laughs> and I, I drink like, I drink, but it'll be, like, small little stuff. Cute, fruity mm. stuff. Yeah. I don't really I'm drink, a hard like, drinker. <laughs> the shot itself, it yeah. gotta be something else. Chase so, or tell e everybody what's your IG page, mama. It's, it's cat. So, I-T-S-C-A-T underscore N-O-T, because it's not K-A-C, y'all. So exactly. It's cat, not, not cat. It's cat so with a C. Like, like the cat. Exactly. <laughs> yes. You already know what's going. Listen, beautiful ladies. Y'all already so know. Pretty. That bitch is only. Listen. And it's all so positive. Like, it yes. feels good. It looks yes. good. It's yes. the energy for me. Yes. So, y'all, please, please, please come check us out. Yes. And it's more to come. Cat releasing stuff. Listen, a she's a singer. Music. She's gonna be releasing music, and y'all go check just, her page. She was over there singing, sound like a bird. Yeah, I it got her. She so don't even cute. know I got her. I might pop it on there. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they did me like that. I'm not a girl. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, yes, it's called when I see you. It'll be coming out shortly. I'm trying to do it around December. Yes, I, I, to I, no, no, I personally like, love the song. Season coming up though. I'm trying yes. to pop it up for Sash. Yeah, all you would say. You know oh what? God. The song go good for the winner. Sexy. Because yeah, it's like, it's you know like, what? Forget what I said. Just come, just come, come on back. Come love you, my cuddle buddy, for the winner time. I changed oh, my mind. Come back, come back yeah. and love me and be with me. Yeah. Can you say some of the words? Or yeah. you give us a little bit? So it's, I'm going to curse. Forget all the things I've said. I'm trying to have makeup. You <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> play from like you still mad, but just, you know, bend me over instead. Okay. I'm going to be kissing you. I really hate missing you. Okay. okay girl. So got to be missing your boo, y'all. Y'all got to Yeah, this going to make you miss him. <laughs> this, this is the, uh, what's it called? Wrong makeup to break sexy. up. Makeup to break up and. Yeah. That's what that is. Don't blame me for when I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> They're baby making. Baby okay. Making, so. Okay. Yeah. So thank you so much for popping no in. Because Kat thought she didn't look like she looked fine to me, but she wanted to be all. She is so beautiful. Like she is cute as fuck. So I'm thank you so like, much, my mom. Yes, Naturally beautiful. Yes. Y'all yes. better tap in. Okay. Y'all tap <laughs> in. <laughs> thank y'all for tuning in to Hypothetically Speaking. And I'm Kia Vanilla, and this is Reba. So y'all tap in. Thank y'all.